Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your extra daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a new tier 7 British V-led vehicle. It is in fact released today with a full line and the new patch and let's try to make this mother trucker work. I had a warming up rounds with this because I was thinking 150 alpha damage, that's kind of weird for a tier, uh, for a tier 7 vehicle, it truly is. I mean, yeah sure there is a lot of medium tanks with low alpha damage but uh, you get the point what I'm saying. It's kind of low and the DPM is somewhere in the middle of the pack as well where the tier 7 medium goes. So this is interesting stuff. 150 alpha damage, 185 millimeters of penetration, 930 shell velocity. It's kind of low to be fair with you. And if we are looking into the gold, gold looks significantly better. 220 millimeters of penetration and 1160 shell velocity. Okay, let's try to make this tank work. So all in all, this tank, what I noticed, I noticed one thing. This tank has the best camo out of tier 7 medium tanks out there, truly. Uh, this tank is on top of the pack, but I tried to spot with this tank whenever I was playing with it. And it did not felt uh, super good or super extraordinary or uh, uh, that I would be the um, top-notch spotter, you know? It did not felt that great. I do not know. Maybe I have done something wrong on my warming up uh, games or something, but uh, uh, I am not impressed with a camo. I'm not really impressed with a gun and I'm not impressed with a tank overall. Um, obviously, we will give it um, a go. Obviously. And we will try to make this beautiful mother trucker work. Now, what we are doing, we are going on top of the hill. Why not? Why not to do so? We have a bit of the gun depression. We have our 150 alpha damage. So let's try to throw the darts uh, from the good angle. How about that? Unfortunately, but we have a losing spawn, but we have a very, very, very good position. What that means? That means, oh boy, oh boy, how are you doing, you beautiful triangles? Well, I have a feeling our Skoda had a great time and he enjoyed himself. Now, both of them are looking here. Mm, I want to be smart. I do not want to take uh, one for the team for no reason whatsoever, but I will. Or maybe I won't. Okay, he's panicking, he's trying to escape, no escape for you. Uh, by the way, where the DPM goes, um, this tank is in the middle of the pack. I know I said that, but I want to repeat it. Why so? Because other British, uh, higher British um, medium tanks, they are lacking on the DPM. This one doesn't. But this one doesn't have that great of the alpha damage, right? So I believe I definitely need to highlight this and to say it's a bit different than other tanks. How do I know about other tanks? Well, I have made videos already and they are going to be released very, very, very soon. Meanwhile, let's eliminate this guy from the game. Why we are trying to eliminate him so our team can play in the middle without bigger problems whatsoever? That's what we are trying to do. And now we will try to make a very nice crossfire for this AMAX. How about that? What is the gun depression? Actually, gun depression looks weird. I need to check out the gun depression of this tank. Because whenever I'm trying to play hold down, I feel like the gun is just going like this. So maybe gun depression is not as great as I uh, expected or as I thought. By the way, this video is like... A, uh, first impressions um, for the tank, right? Our team doesn't look like they are having the best time ever and it doesn't look like our team is going to win this. But nevertheless, we will try to do our best and we will try to punish enemies every and each time whenever enemies will make a mistake. Uh, ooh, yeah. How are you doing this fine day? Oh, he's going through the middle of the field. I really doubt he's going to outspot us. Meanwhile, there is a shitter um, who has very, very nice angle towards our team. 4 to 9. Ay, 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 ay. Definitely not ideal. But it's okay. You cannot win them all. But what we can do, we can try to do our best. The gun looks okay. Apart low alpha damage, it looks like we can hit our shots at the end. It doesn't feel like uh, this is the worst gun ever. Um, you cannot hit. You have uh, low alpha damage. You have no DPM. No, gun is looking actually okay. It's 
similar to the Comet, but I would say it's better than the Comet gun. That's what I think. Look, you can actually hit with this tank. Nice. Okay, what we supposed to do in this situation? I would love to see enemies trying to make a bit of pressure like this. And you know what? It's my lucky day. Looks like enemies are going through the middle of the field while saying... Good. Tog in the middle. I can smell that. Uh, how skill you can smell that? I just simply can smell sausage very, very well. What can I say? I mean, it's a meatball. What a beautiful meatball. More players to play with a Tog. Mmm. Beautiful. Very, very nice. That's what we want to see, fellas. Okay. So in this situation, our mission is to hold this position to the best of our abilities. Right? Simple as this. We are not panicking. We are just trying to hold this line to the best of our abilities. Also, I'm waiting until this dog will think, mm, I can make pressure. Oh, what a beautiful tank. I mean, look. I, I get the point why uh, players love the TOG so much. It's so fun to take one for the team, don't you think so? I think it's quite fun and uh, entertaining as well. Mm -hmm. TOG is the best tank of the tier 6s because you can take the sh shells and survive. How about that? Okay. Gun is looking truly decent. Gun is looking decent, fellas. Even though the alpha damage is low... The DPM is not the best, but it doesn't uh, feel the worst. This is how it feels like to me. I know they have a sniper schnitzel in the back. Do I mind it, to be completely honest with you? Not really. There is a shitter who is going through the middle of the field. But what I'm curious the most now is about the um, gun depression. Because it looks very, very weird, truly. <laughs> I know, right? Horrible. Horrible. Very, very bad. Okay, 20 seconds. I do not have that many shots, but let's try to find where enemies are hiding at. 14 seconds left. I cannot reach the cap, okay? I just simply cannot reach the cap. What I can do, I can try to find where they are hiding. And I have one more shot. Let's try to go here. Mm, not much what I can change about this. Apart. <laughs> uh, I mean. Okay. And we are coming with a very a first ace of this vehicle. Nice. 3.8 thousand damage. 200 assisting damage. 4 kills. Solid ace. High caliber. We are top by experience. We are top by the damage. Even though our team lost, I have more experience than anyone in the enemy team who won. So that is a great stuff. Accuracy. I fired 35 times. I hit 28 shots. I penetrated 28 shots. Quite impressive, honestly. Interesting tank. My biggest problem of this tank, on the paper it can spot. On the paper you have 42 camo when you are standing and 33 whenever you are moving. That looks great. But for some reason I was struggling to spot with this vehicle. Quite weird stuff. Anyways, let's go for round number two. Okay, fellas. Meanwhile, I checked out the gun depression of this tank. It is minus five. Gun depression is a stinker. Gun depression is not that great. And um, I needed to check it out before I started playing with this tank. But oh well. I felt like you should have the gun depression like the higher tiers does, you know. So I assume it this way. Well, you should not assume. You should double check the things. What do we have? We have Abbey Standard Battle. Let's try to play in the 8th line. Um, for me, it is the, mm, the best play. Uh, because you can get assisting damage and you can do damage as well. Uh, plus, on top of that, we will counter every and each mother trucker playing here. We have at least two, actually three guns who will support us. So we are feeling kind of all right. All we need to do... We need to arrive to position at first. And by the way, this tank is looking like mini Borat for me. Honestly, this is how it looks like. It's tiny mother trucker, like a Borat, like, um, I don't even know, pressed sandwich, if you know what I mean. This is how it looks like to me. Or maybe I'm just thinking about the food too much. Who knows? Meanwhile, let's see. Can we slap the enemies playing here? Kaboom, up, up, up. Can we spot someone? No, we can't. And we can see the sniper schnitzels in the back. Beautiful. 
28. Uh, guys! Come on! Slap him a bit. Ooh! I like it. Very, very nice. Plus, for a good measure, art without keyboard is dead. Excellent. He has no clue who is spotting him. He slowly tar 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 into the booba. <laughs> Trying to escape. He's down to one shotable at this point. And if he is going to show booba for us, we are going to take it. How about that? I don't really think I'm spotted at this point. How about the Hellcat? Beautiful shot to the Hellcat. Bzzz. Tier 7. Even though I'm spotted, I don't not really mind. Maybe I should. It's okay. It is okay. I am still trying to get used for this mother tracker. IS and Bzzz. Our... Our T832 should clear the side without bigger problems whatsoever. This tank is so powerful, both of them should die. But what we could do to get some more use ourselves? This is the question, fellas. I'm thinking if I would take this position, what is the chance that I would outspot Super Hellcat easier? Going for a blind shot, I would not act surprised if, I'm sur uh, if I am spotted, but I'm not. Interesting. How about another shot like this? This is... I really want to highlight this is not the finest map for this tank, okay? It is not the finest map, that's for sure. Our team will eliminate this side. Our team is eliminating this side. I think enemies lost this game. So, what do we want to do? We want to... Give me a second. I'm trying to go up, okay? It's called off-road riding. Excellent. We are in position and now we can farm. This guy is thinking, oh, what a good position I am sitting at. And kaboom in the ass. He's thinking, what is this? This is what this gentleman is thinking at this point. Uh, Super Hellcat is waiting for me whenever I will overpeak. Um, not a big surprise. I should not be spotted at this point. Good. How about if I would relocate a bit? Listen, uh, I think this T29 is the best farm which we could have in this situation. Luckily, he isn't paying attention that much. He just fired. Did you hear that? I did. So that means we can spank him again. Good. Very, very nice. And I'm just being annoying in this situation, right? I will take one for the team. I'm aware of that or not. Since he isn't paying attention. Oh, yeah, he fired. That's it. Is our farm. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, this game overall is significantly weaker than the previous game. Why am I saying so? Well, as you can see, this is kind of city map. This is corridors, and it happened to be that enemy team has no team. Can I complain about this? No, I can't. This is just the reality of the game, you know? Uh, this tank won't shine in the city maps, or at least I do not really think it will. Uh, well, depending on the team, you know, if enemies will throw their hit points, then hip hip hooray. Anyways, let's teleport into the end. Okay, fellas, 1000 damage, 700 assisting damage. Definitely not ideal where the game goes, but that's what we crafted. We are probably 7th by the experience, we are 7th by the damage, nothing unusual, we broke even. Let's go for a third one. Okay, fellas, Muravanka. This map got changed a bit. Nowadays, people who were too lazy to go around, they can cross through the middle of the field. Uh, which is very, very, very nice, I guess. Well, unless you was addicted to the magical bushes, uh, spotting damage and whatnot. Either way, it is how it is. Uh, what do we want to do? This time, I will try to challenge this position. Why am I thinking about this? I am thinking about this because um, this position got moved a bit. In fact, not instantly. How about that? We are not going to go instantly over there. At first, we will try to play in the bush here. Just to see um, what we can do from here. And you know what? Look at this. Enemies through the middle. Enemies are playing through the middle of the field. I like it, fellas. What a beautiful enemies. I enjoy it. I appreciate it. Maybe we can find a good angle from here. Now, let's see. Can we be a tiny touch more aggressive over there? As you can see, I am trying to spot their sniper schnitzels. Oh my. 
You know what? I don't care about spotting their sniper schnitzels. If you would pay attention here, we can actually farm. Farm, farm, farm. Look at this ass. Beautiful. I'm checking am I going to get spotted, I'm not. You know what that means? That means no one is sitting here. That means enemies allowed our team to take this position for free. Or it means they are blind. One out of two. I think I think they are blind, fellas. Yep. 617. The face instantly disappeared. Unfortunate. Well, at least he attempted to challenge this position. This is this is something. This is definitely something. Okay, considering how many guns do we have in this side, I think we could try to get a bit more involved here. Meanwhile, T28 prototype side, I do not hate the stun gun. Even though the alpha damage is low, I feel like you can hit your shots relatively easily, which makes me not to hate the stun gun. And now, the sweet assisting damage, here I come. Dung, 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 dung. Unfortunate uh, situation for this guy. He's teleporting straight into the garage. And what we can do, we can try to make a bit better angle for ourselves over there. Maybe we can find the shots to the prototype, right? That's what I would love to see. Stunner Emil in the other side. So that makes uh, me not to care about him, but maybe I should. No, it's okay. We are fine. Listen, what we could do, we can go for prototype. Let's eliminate prototype from the game so our guys won't sit here like a pigeons. And <laughs> I said the truth. And we can get a bit more involved here. That's what I'm thinking. He's in the open field. He cannot do absolutely anything about this. And oh boy, oh boy, he's going straight to the garage. Okay, Skoda is sniping from the back and I repaired my tire instead of armor act. That's okay. Not much what I can change about this. Mm, now, what is the perfect play in order to spot the enemy forces and not to get um, spanked myself? This is the question. I get the point that Skoda is running away. You know, I understand this, I get it, uh, that's fair play. I changed my mind. At first I thought I want to take this position, but it is not so simple. So instead of playing like so, I am trying to play somewhere in the city, right? From the city, we will be able to get some nice angles for spotting and some nice angles for shooting in the same time. I think this is going to be significantly better for us. Um, unfortunately, enemies doesn't have the team. Okay, I believe I do not need to highlight this enemy team is not existing, uh, but that's okay. What can you do? We're making guys down to fartable. Unfortunately, I'm spotted myself, but I am feeling very, very safe here. And now all we need to do, we need to go for remaining damage. Uh, performance wise, it wasn't the ideal game, although I felt like I am uh, involved to pretty good level i did not felt like i am uh, i am playing badly here but score is proving me wrong and uh, score is saying skill learn to play that wasn't as great as you expected it to be which is fair play and this is fair enough anyways all we need to do at this point at this point we just need to go for remaining forces i have a feeling they're sitting somewhere over there good 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 Skoda is sitting here how did i miss that shot Wow, that was an interesting one. Okay, that's the score. Okay, fellas, so what do we have? 1.3 thousand uh, <clears throat> damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage. We are fourth by experience. We are fifth by the damage. Nothing super extraordinary. And in fact, I would say it was bad from my side. I do not know what have I done wrong. Maybe I play too passively or I simply played in the other side. Either way, that's what we have. And our average performance after three games with this tank is 2,000 um, damage and 800 assisting damage. I am happy with overall result, how we made it work, but yeah. Listen, it's not ideal as a tank, right? I like the gun even with a low alpha damage. I do not like platform. I do not love gun depression for sure. Um, and... Uh, 
Yeah, I would say it's average tank for me. Honestly speaking, I would say it's average tank. Soon you are going to get best off video by saying soon in two weeks because I will try to mark all this line um, very, very soon, right? So you will see from tier 5 to tier 6 to tier 7 to tier 8 and so on, so on. Anyways, that's what I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.